square. I will be teaching cycle tomorrow, 5.30 p.m. First class to teach again. It's gonna be my normal schedule, so I'll be sure. If you guys are in this area, you can come and see me in 2017. I don't know how it's gonna go. We'll see. Dog. Buzz. What is it? You know I'm leaning here, Buzz. Buzz. Hey, Buzz. What are you doing? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> are you comfortable? Not are you comfortable? Buzz? Are you comfortable? You comfortable? Whatever. I think we're almost done Christmas shopping. Almost, we're about to take inventory of the presents and see what else we need. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do the whisper challenge, guys. I'm talking to you too, because this is Vlogmas 24. <laughs> Stay tuned for the whisper challenge sometime in the future. It's not gonna happen with Vlogmas. I just got wrapped up in vlogging everything else that's going on, all of the, the fun things that were happening. Hope you guys have enjoyed it, because I really have. What are you? What What are we gonna do tonight? Shop some. Yeah, let's get to shopping today. I wanted to show you guys uh, our dinner for tonight. I cooked up some tofu with a brown rice stir fry, and the tofu I marinated it in soy sauce and teriyaki sauce, and a little bit of veggie broth. And then I cooked it in a pan. His I cooked in oil, that's why it's darker. I cooked it in a pan for about five minutes on each side, so it's a little crispy, but it locks in the flavor. It's delicious. All right, today's question. Today's question of the day. Do you abstain from alcohol completely? This is a very good question. Do I plan on doing a reset in the new year? It's basically a clean eating reset. I know you do flexible dieting, but lately my diet has become way too flexible. Do I abstain from alcohol completely? I pretty much do. And it's not because of macros or calories, but it's because alcohol makes my anxiety very, very bad. It's probably one out of six cases I actually feel normal if I drink. The other cases, my anxiety gets really bad. I panic um, or I cry. Or all of them, all at once. So me and alcohol are not friends. I like drinks, like fruity, sugary drinks, so like margaritas or mixed drinks, things like that, I like them. Um, and I don't really have too much against alcohol in moderation, just being smart about it. It's just best for me mentally to just not drink it at all. So yeah. And then as far as like a reset or a cleanse for the new year, I definitely don't plan on doing that. And to be completely honest, I don't necessarily recommend it for most people because I don't feel that most people need it. I think the best thing to do is just stay consistent with what you can do. I know that during the holidays your intake can get kind of out of whack. You can, you'll eat a lot more processed foods, a lot more sugary things. Um, even if you are sticking to your macros, I kind of am for the most part, but what I'm fitting into my intake is a lot more processed, a lot more of the junk. I don't feel as good, but I know that to fix that, all I need to do is just be more consistent with normal foods, with whole foods. So I don't wanna try and do something extreme because usually I just go completely in the opposite direction whenever I can't take it anymore. And that's how most people tend to get into the yo-yo dieting cycle. So you'll get on some type of cleanse or reset or whatever you wanna call it and be really, really strict and really motivated for several weeks or even a couple months. And then life happens, um, holidays come up or something like that and you can't sustain it anymore. And so you, it's kind of like a, like a rubber band effect. You're pulled and pulled and pulled and eventually it snaps back in the other direction. So um, that's just how I approach it for myself. If doing that kind of stuff helps get you motivated and it's something that you can sustain long term, then go for it. But I don't plan on doing that in any way. I'm just gonna keep doing my thing. If my macros come from junk food for a few weeks, that's fine. I just need to know that my physique and my performance will uh, be affected by that. And that's that. I like a beer or two. You do. Yeah. 
Yeah, everything else, yeah, I agree with the long-term planning, no cleanses, things like that. I was always anti-cleanse. Also, with drinking, as you grow up, I mean, it's fun to do every once in a while, but it has to get bored, right? Boring? It just has to be so boring. So try, like, to experience more of what that really is. Like, beer is a cool thing. Like, it's, I don't know, beer, alcohol, all of it. It's like, get a good one sometime. Maybe try something you never tried before. Stop drinking Budweiser. Because there's some crazy and cool things out there. Like, the thing I just tried was the... What spontaneous, spontaneously fermented uh, beer? It, it tastes completely different from anything you probably ever had. So just get out there and try something new. Stop drinking until you throw up. Boys. What? Buzz? <laughs> He's looking for his toy. <laughs> Buzz? He's looking for his toy. <laughs> Stop to um, a small little health food store. I guess oh, I would call it. <laughs> it's like a health food. I, I'd call it like a crunchy granola store for some homeopathic medicine. Now, bear with me. For weeks on and off, I've been having some weird thing going on with my inner ear. I think it's related to the whole veneers thing. Um, but I found some little homeopathic medicines that help it. Only thing is that they're really hard to find and whenever I order them online, it takes like two weeks to get here. And I have my cycle class that I'm gonna teach tomorrow and it's coming back. So I wanted to try and find something to see if it could help for tomorrow. Um, so we stopped by there to get that. But we also found more vegan marshmallows, which these are the big ones that Matt had wanted. And we're gonna roast these um, either here or with Matt's family this weekend. We also found this brownie crisp that sounds amazing and I'm making some oatmeal and we're gonna watch Game of Thrones and wrap some damn presents because we need to get some wrapping done we only got a few days left until Christmas so let's go we're all great now too lazy for tripod let me try this <coughs> one serving is three crisps it's about to go everywhere hurt my nose. It smells like brownies. You sure? Had <laughs> <laughs> a taste. Ooh. They look like little dried brownie flatbreads. Is it gonna focus? Come on, focus on this. You have to focus on the right here. Yeah, that's better. Okay. It tastes like the corner, like the edges of the brownies. Kitty. These are good. Three crisps, four fat, before. 17 carbs, two fiber, and two protein. Doesn't that taste like a brownie corner? It's like yeah. the little burnt edges that you try to get. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Never seen these anywhere else other than Cornucopia here in San Marcos. They're pretty good. I recommend it. Because they're pretty good. Because they're pretty good. Are you coming to cycle tonight? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know how it's going to go. Great. Oh, I'm dropping my stuff. He's just sitting there. Creeping. You are cute though. All right guys, so I ran through my cycling uh, class 
at the gym today. I ran, I ran through the whole thing, which I was surprised. I was just gonna browse the songs. But I went through the whole class, kind of worked on the cues in my head, and I worked up a good sweat, and that was just going at like 50%. So really excited. I hope that some people show up. I know that Matt's gonna take it, and then my brother and his fiance are gonna take it because I'm forcing them all to do it. So we'll see how that goes. But afterwards, we're gonna go try out a new pizza place in town that just recently started serving vegan cheese. So stay tuned for that. And then that's gonna be today's vlog. Guys, I made a little protein, I would call this like a protein sludge slash cookie dough. So I guess it is more of a sludge, but tastes kind of like cookie dough. And it was really, really super simple. I just did a tablespoon of flour one serving of these Enjoy Life chocolate chunks, 20 grams of my eggnog protein, eight grams of this sugar-free, fat-free jello pudding, and one serving of peanut butter spread with just bits of cashew milk until I made this consistency. It's like a little more indulgent than a sludge. And then if I do a little less liquid, it would have been more uh, cookie dough-ish, I think, but yeah. Pretty good little snack. These are something. I want to look at your chow too, just to check it out. We can go. Don't mind me. Hey, what did y'all think of cycling? It's really good. Wait, where is he going? Oh. What do you think of cycling? Piece of cake. <laughs> Piece of crumb cake. <laughs> Wait till Whatever. Yeah. Do you like it? Sweaty? Uh, yeah, I was sweaty. That's <laughs> <laughs> like That's No, that's like one meal. Is that Dang. one slide Geary on there? It's yeah, Geary. Geary. Yeah. Say what? It's really good. Easy. Yeah, I remember that. Really? Yeah, and so it's just a small little yeah. like, bar and then you just go back there and just it's a lot of pizza. Yeah, I remember. I guess I'm going upstairs. What <laughs> oh, Buzz. <laughs> Don't touch me. Don't touch me! This must be a scary part. It just, like, Looks funny that you're just staring towards the wall. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> you're not dead. <laughs> That's a scary. That is a scary. 